Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and in this video I'm going to show you how to reverse the channels on your Flysky i6S. And for this demonstration I'm going to show you how to do it with servos because that's kind of one of the most common uses for channel reversing would be servos on an airplane. But when you reverse the channels it will work just the same way if you're using it with a quadcopter or something like that. But if you are going to be using a quadcopter, typically you would reverse channels or anything like that in the actual configurator like Betaflight. So for this demonstration, I will be using my little trainer setup here and I'll show you how to do it with the servos. So let's get started. First thing, let's turn on our transmitter. Let's press and hold the little lock button. This is the latest version of the firmware, by the way, uh, April 4th, 2020 and I'm not a big fan of this whole unlocking the front screen thing. In any case, we're gonna get into our settings and in our settings, the very first option is reverse and here we are on the reverse page. Now, let's get our little demonstration airplane here and get a battery connected to it. All right, we have a battery connected. The transmitter is already bound with the receiver. If you don't know what that is, check out my video about binding your transmitter and your receiver. Here we have the rudder and elevator servos for our, our plane here. And you see that the elevator is going in the wrong direction because when I, when I pull the stick in a downwards way, this elevator should actually go up, which means that that servo should actually rotate the opposite direction that it is. So to fix that, we're gonna go into our transmitter. We're gonna go into the function menu here. And right at the top, it says reverse. We'll click on that. And all we have to do is super simple. This is channel two. We just need to say reverse channel two. We just tap on the, where it says nor for normal. We just tap on that and then it will reverse the channel. So now the elevator is actually going in the correct direction and the true is same uh, the true is same and the same is true for any of the other channels like the rudder here if I wanted to reverse the rudder servo uh, which is this servo it's going in the right direction right now but just to show you I could I could even hold it in this direction and this is the way it's going and then when I tap on here for reverse which is uh, channel channel 4 you can see it just reverses the direction so now when I push to the right it goes to the left and vice versa and then when you're done with this, you just back out of these screens and go back to the main menu. You don't have to click save or anything like that for the i6s. On the i6x and the i6, you do need to press and hold cancel, but that's, that doesn't matter because this is the i6s. A couple of really important things I want to point out here is that for safety, make sure you always take off your propeller from your motor or disconnect your motor leads uh, from your ESC when you're doing this because if you press channel three, which is typically what the motor is on, and you reverse it, that's gonna, that's gonna happen. And that could be very bad because when you reverse this, your transmitter thinks that the down position on the throttle is actually full throttle. So that's very important. Make sure you take off your propeller or unplug your motor. Another thing is that I think in the Flysky manual, it mentions uh, reversing channels in order to reverse the spinning of propellers or something like that. That will not change the direction that this motor spins. So hitting reverse on the channels here does not change the direction that the motor will actually spin, the actual counterclockwise or clockwise rotation. What you need to do in order to do that is switch any two of these three motor wires and then it will spin in the opposite direction. This is only to change which way, basically which way the transmitter thinks that the channel is on or off. Now you might be wondering why would I need to reverse the channels? Well, the most common reason, especially for airplanes, is because maybe you installed a servo and you installed it the wrong way. And so now the elevator or the rudder or aileron is actually moving in the opposite direction. And so instead of having to go in there and either switch the direction of the servo, like the physical placement of the servo, or switch out the servo arm, this way you can just do it electronically and save it in your transmitter so that way you don't have to take your airplane apart and it can really save you a lot of time. Another point while we're talking about it, uh, these aileron servos are connected with a Y harness. So both of the servos are actually connected to and controlled by the same channel, in this case, channel one. So if you reverse channel one, you will actually reverse the direction of both 
servos because they're connected with a Y harness. All right, I think that covers it. It's pretty darn simple, especially on the i6s. That is one nice thing. You just have to press a button and then reverse the channel. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, let me know. Leave me a comment. And if you still need some help, leave a comment and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I will see you again very soon.